Hello, everybody. I hope your week is off to a great start. Uh, I've got a new painting here that I'm excited to show you. It's a, a brand new Tyrannosaur called Thanatotherestis uh, that you may have heard about on the news. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Uh, but first, I wanted to explain what happened last week. Uh, you may have noticed I did not upload a new video. Uh, it's the second time that has ever happened since I started this channel six months ago. And I do apologize, but um, you see, lately it's been feeling like uh, I've been so focused on getting content ready every single Tuesday for, for this channel that it has started to detract from the work. I felt like the quality was starting to slip a little bit, and I just can't have that. Uh, if a self-imposed deadline is affecting the quality of the art, uh, then it's just not worth it. So what will that mean moving forward? Well, I promise I am still very uh, committed to this channel and growing it in the months ahead. Uh, I want to continue uploading uh, these videos, uh, but maybe at a slightly different pace. Uh, for now, I just want to focus on quality over quantity and make sure I'm putting my best work forward. Uh, so I hope you'll put up with that and uh, stick around because I'm going to have some really cool things coming up. But anyway, we got that out of the way. Let's talk now uh, about this dinosaur um, because it's really exciting. Uh, for us dinosaur nerds, it, it was a really big week last week when we found out about this uh, Thanatotherestis. Uh, it was found in Canada, uh, I believe in Alberta, uh, by a farmer uh, back in 2008. He was out for a hike and he spotted something that uh, looked an awful lot like a dinosaur jaw. And that ended up being exactly right. Uh, but those bones, they sat in a drawer for years until just uh, recently they started examining them. And now we have a name and we know that this is a new Tyrannosaur. Uh, it was probably about 26 feet long, uh, which, you know, compare that to its cousin, the Tyrannosaurus Rex that we all know so well. Uh, the T-Rex would show up on the fossil record millions of years later. And the largest specimen that we ever found was about 42 feet long, so way bigger. Uh, but still, Thanatotherestis was probably uh, a terror uh, in its environment. And in fact, its name means Reaper of Death, which is very cool, very rock and roll. Uh, but I did keep that in mind as I was uh, illustrating it. Uh, you see, I kind of wanted to defy that uh, reputation. Uh, as a bloodthirsty killing machine that the name conjures up. Uh, I'm much more interested in depicting these things as real animals instead of movie monsters. Uh, now, we know that they did live in a rough and tumble world. Uh, these things were fighting, competing, hunting. Uh, so that's an aspect of nature, and I don't mind illustrating it. And I do from a time to time, but it's not my favorite way to depict these creatures. And I got a really nice bit of feedback on Instagram recently from a follower who sent me a message. Um, she was just expressing how much she appreciates that about my artwork. And uh, I was really flattered and, and I appreciate it so much because it is a conscious effort that I put forth to uh, show them uh, not always, you know, killing each other and, and, and attacking like monsters. You know, if you think about uh, painting a lion, bear. It doesn't have to have blood dripping off its jaws to know that it's a powerful, uh, majestic creature or even a predator. Uh, there are other ways to depict them. And I don't want to distract from the beauty of uh, the animal. And I hope you find that approach as appealing as I do.
Hey, if you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, a comment, tell a friend, and thanks for watching.